In this video, I will go over the opening sequence of the Vow Disciple Raid. Not a very hard sequence, but if for some reason you're getting stuck, you're not clear on how to finish it up, I'll go over it really quickly. First off, once you enter the raid, you'll be brought to the Miasma in front of the area that you've actually played within the campaign. One of the things you'll see at first is a reflection of Sabathun that you have to take out. So that's the first thing. Watch out, especially if you're playing this before contest mode is over. She does have lightning that can take you out pretty quickly, but you'll need to do that and obviously take out ads where you can. Once she's down, get on your sparrow and go until you run into one of those boats. Like, you know, in the campaign itself, they had one of these that you did in one of the campaign missions. It's also similar to the public event that you have on the planet on Sabathun's throne world. So it's similar to that. The key piece here is that you're going to be taking out ads and there's three abominations that show up that you have to drop. When you drop them, three to five orange founts are going to show up on the ground. You need to collect those and bring those back to the boat to continue to move forward. One thing to be careful about as you do this is that as you get further away from the boat, you're going to get pervading darkness, which is a, a buff that continues to increase until it gets to 10. When you get basically to eight or nine, it's going to blind and make it very difficult for you to see. So as you come out and get these bounce, you're just going to make sure that you don't stay out for too long and that you get them as quickly as possible and go back. Once you've collected enough of these, you'll move to the next area. Also, once you've collected all of them or when someone has collected all of them and brought them back to the boat, it will clear out the buff that is blinding you at that point. While you're picking up the founts, you can pick up a total of three. That's the maximum you pick up. If you pick up one, it's heightened knowledge. Two, it's brimming knowledge. Three, it's overflowing knowledge. So continue to do this. Again, since there's no DPS, there's no boss to deal with, you can go ahead and deal with the ads with supers, with any heavy or other things you need to control ads. Do this a total number of five times, and then you'll open the door to this encounter. Now, this is obviously, even on contest mode, was a lot easier than, say, Vault of Glass was last year. Not terribly difficult, and once we're out of contest mode, this will be a cakewalk getting through. But that's how it works, guys. Have any questions, feel free to drop in my Discord and we can talk about it. That's the video. Feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.